Ketavan, that news from Georgia, surely yet another blow to Trump's outlandish bid to get his defeat overturned. Yes, because uh, this recount was something uh, that uh, the Trump campaign was initially pushing uh, for. They had sent a team of uh, leading Republican figures here in Georgia to uh, really uh, lead the way into this uh, recount effort, even though this was something uh, that was done by the state officials uh, that was uh, mandated by this audit that was required by uh, the new Georgia state law. And uh, what this recount, this hand recount found is that there were uh, several thousands about uh, 6,000 votes that were uncounted initially, that were counted this time in this recount by hand. Uh, but in the end, uh, Joe Biden, who had about a 14,000 vote lead heading into the recount, uh, came out of that recount with about 12,800 votes ahead of Donald Trump. So uh, very uh, ma marginally uh, changed there the tally of the votes. The uh, local officials who insisted throughout this recount process that it was simply a recount. There was no evidence of fraud, no evidence of irregularities, except those uh, uncounted ballots that they, in, they eventually accounted. And that uh, the tally and the result, Joe Biden winning uh, Georgia, did not uh, change. Now, of course, Donald Trump not happy with that. He had already said uh, that this recount was a joke, uh, was a fraud. There was a campaign statement uh, just after the announcement by the Georgia uh, Secretary of State, uh, that campaign statement uh, saying that uh, Georgia should not certify these results, that this recount was not valid. Uh, the certification set to be happening this uh, Friday. After that, with this margin so close, under 0.5 percent, uh, by law, the Trump campaign is allowed to request another recount. This one won't be done by hand, uh, but by scanning. It is looking likely that Donald Trump is going to ask for uh, that recount. Uh, but really, the push there is uh, to try to get Republicans to refuse to certify uh, this uh, result, to try to delay uh, this process, even though uh, those results, this first count, the recount, have shown that Joe Biden has indeed uh, won the state of Georgia. And Ketavan, there's a fair bit of speculation around at the moment uh, that uh, in the face of a series of thwarted legal bids, the Trump campaign uh, is actually shifting to something of a new strategy. Can you tell me a bit more about that? Well, yes, as you said, uh, those legal challenges seem to be uh, going nowhere. Most of them have already uh, been thrown out uh, by the courts. Uh, there is this attempt, of course, uh, to try to delay the certification of some of the results in some of those key states. But the new strategy, really, and what we're seeing uh, coming out of the Trump campaign, whether it's the president himself or some of his allies, is uh, to try to basically get the state legislatures that are uh, dominated by Republicans in some of those key states to try to overturn the will of the people, the vote of the people, by playing on the Electoral College. Because remember, uh, all those states uh, will give those Electoral College votes to the person who has won that state, who has garnered the, the most number of votes. Uh, but the Trump campaign is trying to push to get some of these Republican uh, legislators uh, to try to, to change that, to try either to uh, pick uh, Electoral uh, voters uh, who are uh, loyal to Donald Trump to try to vote differently or even try to count on rogue uh, electors uh, to try to change that. Uh, the chances of that actually happening are slim to none because some of those key states, uh, those state legislatures controlled by the Republicans, I'm thinking about the state of Pennsylvania or the state of Michigan, have already said that there will not be a change in those electoral college votes. Whoever won the state with the certified results will get the electoral college votes. They've said that even though they are Republicans, uh, they will follow uh, the will of uh, the people. Uh, that's what uh, they have said. And as far as uh, rogue electors, uh, the states uh, since 2016 have uh, tightened their rules on how uh, electoral uh, college voters can cast uh, their ballots. Uh, they uh, can dismiss them. Uh, they can punish them. And so the chances of even a few rogue electors uh, actually casting their ballot for Donald Trump, even though a state has 
has uh, voted for Joe Biden are slim. And even if they do that, he would, he would need a lot of those uh, electors uh, to change uh, their votes, to change the will of the people in those states. And so uh, the strategy is mostly to try to undermine uh, the trust in uh, the system. And that's what I saw earlier today here in Atlanta in front of the state capitol where uh, Trump supporters came out, uh, about 100 or 200 of them, uh, saying that this vote was stolen, that the recount was a fraud, and that they did not believe in this election, that they would not believe uh, the result, and that Donald Trump, for them, is the real winner. Ketavan Gordistani reporting from Atlanta, Georgia.